Hello, everybody. Welcome to Indigo Terra Odyssey. Thank you guys for all your beautiful words of wisdom over on my Instagram. You guys help one another and chat to one another and down in the comments as well. I read every single thing that is sent to me, whether it's underneath the videos over on Instagram, my emails, you know, everything you guys are thinking and feeling and sharing and progress you're making and the impact you're having on each other and my videos on your life and all of that are so important right now. And I appreciate you guys so much. So I just wanted to say thank you so much and, and thank you for all the interest too. I actually had added a couple spots for my Stonehenge reading because there was, you know, such an overwhelming great response. So if you guys want to email me and you're curious about that, um, I'm leaving in a couple weeks for Stonehenge and I am doing live readings right on those ancient grounds, personal readings that I'm filming right there. And it's just going to be so exciting. Whew, it's something I've been wanting to do for a while and it corresponded beautifully with a family trip we're taking. So any information you guys want, feel free to email me. I'm going to have a really fun read today and I just made these pieces right now. I was actually in my room and I was watching this funny English show and um, I had bought these bars and I wanted to work in like collars and I remember I used to make these all the time and they lay so beautifully like right underneath the neck right over the collarbone and they they catch the light really beautifully and I had all these great stones so I made them so I thought I'd decorate the set with them and show you guys too and then you can choose also your animal along with some corresponding stones so this is going to be what is going to be taking place transformationally, spiritually, love, whatever comes in over the next three months. I like to work in threes. I always do three pick a cards. I feel like it's um, just a really perfect number to me. I've always loved that number. And I, that's how I schedule my day too. I say, what are the first three things I'm going to do? So on and so forth. I just wanted to share something with you quickly today, guys. And I'll post whoever this reader is over my Instagram and she even said, I mean, she has an amazing amount of viewers and subscribers as well. And she just popped up on my screen and she said, this is probably the best and most important video that I've ever made. She just came back from a conference with some, obviously some empowered speakers that really moved her. And we share a very similar outlook on everything. But the way she surmised it and encapsulated it so simply was so wonderful and it did change the arc of my day and I'm seeing the changes already within me who, who really thought I was implementing as many steps as possible to always stay positive and always stay upping and all this. And it was simply that um, there are moments that we just surmise are going to be um, mundane in our life. So we don't try to interpret them in a new way. Her particular thing was showering. She just thought it was something she had to do. It wasn't particularly fun. And she said what she did was she invested two minutes before she got in the shower to make it a fairy-like experience. She lit two candles um, and then she because there was no windows in there. So it made these beautiful kind of, you know, lovely flames you could see. And um, she played this soft music, like forest wonderland music. So she pretended she was like this amazing fairy in the forest, like a woodland fairy. And she was bathing under a waterfall and it was like magic. And it was giving her, you know, it was giving her light and love and waking her up. And she now has this experience and looks forward to this every day. And it's like that thing where they say, you know, make anything into a meditation or a good time, employ music or speakers you like, whatever it is we can turn. If we turn each little segment of something we're doing to a magical, fun experience and see it in a new way, in a new perspective, we can change our outlook on the day. Driving in traffic can be great. We're listening to our favorite kind of music. We're learning something, languages. Um, we can create a whole kind of spectrum of another world in our head, right? Um, Comedy is my thing. I love key and peel, all of that. I will laugh my head off. That's a great thing. Whatever it is, it's like you're indoctrinating yourself into a new kind of way of thinking. Um, you can do absolutely anything. I'm trying to think for an example. Um, I don't love all the chores for feeding the cats and clearing in the litter boxes. And I can have a thousand, I have five of them, but things like that. So what I do is I pretend that I am like, I have 
this house filled with all these magical cats. They're like Cheshire cats, but they depend on me and they want fresh food and fresh litter and water. And I pretend that each time that I change their stuff, they're all going to come up and say something to me. And how would, how would they thank me for their wonderful food, water, and fresh litter? Like I just do these fantastical little trips in my head. And I'm telling you for each thing that you think you don't want to do, you know, a shower, going to warm up your car in the morning because it's cold out, going to the gym. I have to employ this a lot at the gym. Again, I listen to my favorite speakers, whatever, while I'm there. I, and one of the things that makes me the happiest during the day too, is to look at all your comments. So I do the comments why I'm like on the treadmill, things like that. Incorporate something that brings joy into what you previously thought was mundane. So you can create all these magic, um, oasis throughout the day for yourself and everything. When we do our best possible, job at every single thing we do that we make everything special. It gets our focused attention. It comes out amazing. For example, in between like each of these beads is a tiny little bronzite bead. And when I was lining these all up, sometimes that kind of work can be tedious. And I like the bars to be a certain way. They have to be orderly and all of that. I don't want just all willy nilly different sizes. So I line them up. So what I pretended with these, that these are logs that go down a river and that they were imbued by gold, by um, all the leprechauns that live there. Like I create a whole story, like a fantastical story. I love children's stories. All of that. I do these type of things where I'm lining up the jewelry and these came, these come from the Emerald Isle and their magic. They imbue the wearer with sacred truths, all this stuff. Like I have these immense storytelling times in my head when I'm making these and they are and these are surfboards of the gods, which I love because I love Australia. And I'm, and I, I've had um, people contact me and say there are rains now, and it's being very helpful. But I have every time I start to think of it because I have people that I know there, and um, I'm always wishing them well. And I feel like Australia is such an amazing part of the world. So I pretend that like these are little surfboards of the gods, and um, these blue agates, and they surf around them. And I do all these little things so I don't feel like even though this is a craft and I love it more than anything when I have to line things up and there's, you know, there's real um, organization to be had. I'm not a statistical or logistical person, so I make it more fun and I imbue it with a story. So just try that in something. Pick one thing that you're like, oh, I don't love vacuuming, but what I can pretend is I am a giant and my carpet is all the dirt and poison and disease on the earth and I'm sucking up. Whatever it is, just get fantastical. And then all of a sudden the time goes by and your head does all this stuff. And what happens is you actually give it your focused intention and you do a really good job at each thing that normally might have bored you or made you think, I don't like this. Window washing, things like that. Chores, you can turn them into these beautiful kind of lovely meditations. So just try that. I've been trying it throughout the day. It's inspired me. I felt good all day. I never felt like anything like I was obligated to do anything. Everything felt lovely. Like it was, um, a gift and a purposeful focused intention made everything a lot of fun. So I just love that. And I wanted to share that with you. So again, what is going to be happening and what's coming into our lives over the next three months, whether it be, you know, love our soulmate, whatever comes up, we are going to bring right through and channel. So these are our three choices. Number one is donkey. You guys were asking about these. These are Archangel Animal Oracle cards. And I love them. And um, each time that I use a deck, I'm, I'm going to do my utmost to um, have them all pinned below. So you guys can know too, because I change up the deck so often. So donkey says, keep your heart open no matter what Archangels, Mary and, and Gabrielle. So, I'm sorry, Gabriel, donkey, really... If somebody comes at you sideways, keep your heart open and be like, okay, you know what? Sometimes people in pain like to cause pain. I am bigger than this person's issue. I'm bigger than this environment. I am bigger than this confrontation, whatever it is. And we don't react. If we need some kind of response, we ground out, we settle into ourselves, and then we respond very adult-like and calm-like, right? I love that. Regardless, if you feel a little hurt or you feel somebody is doing something a little sketchy, we maintain, we maintain dignity and calm. So number two is sheep act with fortitude and cooperation. This is what I was um, really talking about earlier too. act with fortitude, give yourself hope, give 
give yourself something to look forward to. Make it a beautiful, enriching experience, whatever it is. Do your best with focus and tension all day long. And and life is filled with such joy. And it's not about things anymore. It really isn't. You don't try to fill those voids by acquiring material goods or doing anything that you know, just fills that void. This is you. you're already doing things, but because you have focus and tension, it's much more fulfilling. You ever taste every bite of that meal? How much better is that meal than when you're just eating it blindly, like on your way to your car, in your car or in front or, or rushing through that, right? Absolutely. Focus and tension, slow down. What the hell is our big hurry? I have to remind myself this as well. Immutable fire. I'm always trying to go in 47 directions. Doesn't do me much good. So I am learning just like everybody else. Number three is cow. Give with unconditional love and grace. Now I am going to give you an example and I hope Jeannie isn't watching this. I saw this handbag that was so killer today and I was like, I love that. Jeannie's birthday. This is the weird thing. Jeannie's brother myself and Jeannie are all born on the 29th of three consecutive months. I'm November, he's December and she's January. So she's been my best friend for life. And I saw this handbag and I'm like, damn, that cost such a pretty penny, but she would love it. And then I was like, I'm not kidding you. I was like, I would love that girl. If you know how many bags I had bought in a lifetime, I don't know. I no longer do this. I have one rucksack that I love, but I used to, I love fine leather and I love things. And I was like, okay, girl, like your birthday that passed. So how about you give with unconditional love? And I like to do this. Lots of times I create a piece of jewelry right away. I know that's going to suit somebody that color, that style, whatever. That's why I'm always having giveaways. That's why I'm always sending stuff out because I know we all, you know, at times, how lovely is it to get us surprise in the mail, right? When we do that, we're really giving back to ourselves. We're really filling our cup. We're really giving ourselves that 10 of cups moment because emotionally it's much more fulfilling in most instances to give than to receive, right? And so it's one of those things. If you know you have something that's not of great use to you any longer and someone who can use it, give that gift. It feels really good. So we're going to begin with number one, which is donkey. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use... I love these reversible cards. I'm definitely going to use these. I'm going to give them a good a shuffle. And we're going to see. I'm going to rely on the tarot because I like this for um, kind of long-term planning. I'm also, you know what? Let me grab one of these for the overarching energy. I'm so used to starting with an oracle to kind of get centered that it's it's really helpful for me to have these. However, they're so new and they're matte. So they're they're kind of hard to, sh they're definitely hard to shuffle right now. Okay, so for your beginning energy, you have the star mother. How can you mother yourself? So this is what you're going to learn. Say you look in the mirror and you feel something is off. You, we're always critiquing and judging ourselves. How would you speak to yourself if you were your mother? This is one of those things. You would speak to yourself lovingly, calmly, and adoringly, right? Sometimes we are so harsh to ourselves. Oh my God, this makes me look fat. Oh my God, my hair looks, you know, whatever, like whatever those little troll dolls are. Oh my God, this is not right. We get overly dramatic. But the unfortunate thing is we're talking to ourselves. We, our brain doesn't care what we tell it, but it believes us. So if we're constantly saying we look some kind of like toxic waste or whatever, and we keep saying that to ourselves, we start to feel bad. We start to feel self-conscious. How can you mother yourself? How can you speak to yourself lovingly, calmly, subjectively, helpfully, and help yourself get to a place where you're, you're feeling good. You feel the growth. You feel, um, a, you are taking care of yourself on a 3D level. You're brushing your teeth, you're no hygienic, all of those things. So you don't have problems or illness. Again, how are you eating? How can you mother yourself to get, make sure you have that fresh fruit? Your mothers would always make sure their children have good nutrients, right? I always say, you know, if it comes out of a tree or out of the ground, it is your best source of nutrition. We don't need all these chemicals. I'm guilty of love and cheese by the absolute uh, metric ton. And I have to stop myself candy. I'm a sugar monkey. Like I love all that stuff, but it takes self-control because I realize those fluctuations and things aren't great. So do whatever you can 
that your mother would do for you when younger that would make you feel good, give you good food, have you go to bed at a reasonable time, watch the TV, watch the junk, all of that, right? And be your own spiritual teacher, reach out for information that helps you. And you're really going to be doing that over the next few months. And this is why you have the wheel card, which is saying new beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. You're really going to be going true north now. What fulfills you? What makes you feel good? What gets those engines revved? What keeps you in alignment for your best possible outcome and self. That means you're not letting your ego get in charge. I feel like you're understanding that now too. When you, that little voice perks up and says, you're not good enough. You're not smart enough, blah, 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 whatever it is you're realizing, you know what? That's a thing of the past. It's a subconscious knee jerk reaction. I'm going to use my metacognition that is not subconscious nor conscious is right in that waking middle where you have control and you say, okay, again, you're, you're acting very, very, aware of what's happening in the moment. You're like, I'm not going to speak to myself like that or think like that. That's ridiculous. And most, most of the time it's absolutely not true, right? So you're going to catch yourself. And this direction offers you happiness because you're no longer believing the lower vibrational thoughts. You're no longer trying to fill that void immediately with just like intermediary garbage, like shopping or buying and acquiring or, um, things of that nature, junk food, all those things you're realizing let me sit with my thoughts. Let me sit with my heart. Let me sit with my mind. Why did that? Why do I feel bad? Because that person said that. Do I really respect their opinion? And do I even give a flying F? Oftentimes I'll do that. Like I had this weirdest comment and I burst out laughing because I thought, oh, it's a joke. I thought people can't possibly still think like this. And I had, yeah, I don't think out of all, all my time doing this, I got something exactly like that. And I'm sure a lot of you light workers have and tarot readers this is absolute witchcraft. Nobody listened to any tarot readers. She was going on and on. And then she had to say that she was from whatever state in the deep South of USA and was going on and on. And basically everybody can, will go to hell that listens. To this. First of all, if, if you are very, very Christian or whatever, please, that some of the dogma that the church professes in, in light of these things is absolutely silly. And I find tarot and the avenue that I tra travel down highly spiritual. It has to do with angels, archangels, spirituality so much. So when people say that, that's why I, I think it's laughable. But again, I shook that off and deleted it immediately. Now, had this been my first week doing this, it might have it might have shook me a little like what in the what is what in the what what you know what i mean but because you know i'm pretty seasoned and i don't let those things bother me that's what's going to be happening to you too you're like no um i have my heart my mind my spirit everything in true alignment with what's good for me so anybody out there you know i call them the yappers they're like those little ankle biter dogs that just yap 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 because they want attention and again we have empathy love and sympathy for that because we realize ignorance is always going to be blabbing the loudest it's always going to be chatting the loudest because they don't know unfortunately it's a lot of people anywhere you know it, that are the most ignorant know the least that are yapping the loudest at rallies and things like that so one of those things your perspective is really going to be enriched in a really amazing way now i love your next energy boost for the next three months to queen of gabriel of gabriel passionate charming brilliant and independent you're going down this road where you've decided you know what I'm not going to do something unless I love it. I'm not going to do something unless I'm passionate about it. If it's something that doesn't work for me, why would I do it? And this brings out your charming, brilliant, independent self because you're following your bliss. You're following what your heart tells you to do. Your soul does. If you're in that job and you don't love it, if you're in that relationship, if you don't love it, if you're in some kind of situation where you find it dull, dreary, and life-sucking, sayonara. You got your roller skates on and you're out of there. You have just had enough. Life is way too short. And like I was saying earlier, we can make magic out of anything. Anything, but we shouldn't be subjected to stuff that steals life and energy from us. You know, be like if we're around a bunch of complaining, lazy people at work, that will start to take a toll. And there's nothing more precious than our health and our joy. So we're not going to subjugate ourselves to that anymore. We're, you know, we're out of there. So you can do anything right now. Go after what you want. The ability to attract helpful people is here for you as well. So if you want to do anything, if you're trying to grow your business, if you are having one of those 
and kickstarts, whatever it is, a GoFundMe. If you want to start your start anything, now is the time. The next three months is going to be optimal for that. Your passion is going to be in there, which means your focus and your love for what you're doing is going to be there. Success, guaranteed success. That happens. We all have this prime sweet spot that when we decide we're going to do it, we just do it. And that's what that's what you're ready for, group one. So I love that for you. Yeah. And the wheel is always about that beautiful perspective too, going, you know, I can handle anything and now is my time. And, you know, there's your new rich beginning and of delays. Nobody is stopping you. So fantastic. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my links are down below. If you need a private read, all my jewelry and all these necklaces are my Etsy store as well. Thank you guys for all your orders. I appreciate it so much and sending pictures of you and your jewelry. I love it so much and I really appreciate it. So thank you. Oh, I didn't even tell you the stones that go with each of them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I guess that you might have recognized them, but I'm sorry. Group one, of course, this is pyrite. This is um, bronze pyrite. This this is, it's called emerald crystal quartz, and this is blue agate. Um, yeah, I'm just like, it's funny how sometimes you assume that people just know certain things, but it's like afterwards, some, some people will be like, oh, by the way, what was that? So you guys, again, all my links are down below. I appreciate you so much. I love that. Yeah. Keep your heart open no matter what anybody gives you the side eye or, you know, tries to be fierce, whatever, just keep an open heart and be like, you know, it is what it is. Don't get tangled in that web. So now we're on to number two, which is sheep. So act with fortitude and cooperation. This is saying just because it's not our idea, it doesn't mean it's not a great idea. We don't always have to be the boss of everything, the head navigator, you know, we, other people are allowed to delegate things to us and we follow along cooperatively, whether we're in family. I do this quite often when it comes to what movies people want to see in my family, where they want to go to dinner. You know, I'm happy to go along and get along. I'm happy whatever, you know, is going on. And, um, that way, when you do that, you're kind of acting in this faith that, listen, it's more important for everybody to have a good time than for me to make the choices, as well as acting in fortitude, saying, I, this is like putting in strength, focus, and knowing you're going to get the best optimal results anyway, and not to give up or get flustered or frustrated over silly little things. And I feel like part of the reason you're going to be able to do that right now is let me give these a shuffle. All my cards are so thick. You have the King of Gabriel, which is generous, inspirational, dramatic, and driven. I keep getting the kings and queens in these decks. It's amazing. This is saying keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. I think this came up. I don't know if it was for a private, but these, these exact two cards before. Experience that leads to success, genuine concern for others. So right away, th what this is just yelling out to me is your stream of success that's coming for you right now. What is happening is you've decided, listen, I'm not going to settle. I have this idea. Um, I've had this thing ruminating around in my head and I'm, I'm done with the bucket list. I'm done with the tomorrow. I'm done with the next week. I'm done with when I have this, I can now do that. Now is the time. Carpe diem. You want to seize the day. You want to do this. You're optimal. This three month period, I feel like it's like the three of pentacles. You're planting, you're doing the work, you're sowing the seeds and you want to get this thing off the ground because everything needs and requires a starting place, right? And starting is the hardest thing to do. St starting and you know, filling in that first blank page, but you know, you're going to be inspired by everything around you. And things are going to seem like dramatic in a very fun way. Like I want a flare. I have a flare for color style, all of that. You really want to beautify what's around you too. You really want things to be gorgeous and fun. This is another thing that's going to be going on for you with seven of Gabriel is standing up for what you believe in. You're going to have confidence. You're going to claim your personal power. This is going to be at work within family and school. If you feel like anybody has been like running rough shot or trying to get their way over and over bullying any of that, all of a sudden you're like, you know what? You're feeling your oats. You're feeling your power. You're feeling your strength. And, um, you're going for your dreams and what you want because changes in our life, including closing doors or missed opportunities aren't going to derail our fulfillment. It's kind of like realignments are happening based on divine wisdom and the timing. So if you're ever being diverted for, from unnecessary obstacles and suffering, that's why you're not right where you are. Like, I always feel like that. If I have to, if I miss my exit or I miss something on the road, I'm like, I probably miss, I could have possibly missed a major accident. I, I realized that we're being diverted for a reason. You're not getting that job because long-term it is not going to do you good. Your spirits are helping you. We have to have a void for the best thing to come in. So if you fill that void quickly with something temporary that doesn't suit you, 
you might miss the real magic, right? So trust in how your life path is really unfolding right now and stay true to your authentic healing journey. That's how you're going to find your power. It's working and significant inner healing is taking place. And that's how you're claiming your personal power. And you're like boundary time. You are now saying no, when you mean, no, I don't want to come in because somebody called in sick. This is my day off as well. I don't want to, um, come watch your children every time you want to go out just because I'm your neighbor. All of those things. Um, you're able to gather your energies and go within and regenerate. So when you need that energy, it's available to you. I really love this. And you're not forcing yourself to keep pace with any external cues. You know, you're committed to your own natural timing and pace right now, which is going to really keep all this confidence, energy, and magic within you right at the ready when you really do need it. You ever been so pissed because you worked so hard and did so much and then you were burnt out and then some great thing came your way and you legit just didn't have it in you to do that thing because you gave away so much energy and power throughout the day. I used to do that all the time. When I work anywhere, I work hard and I always worked, you know, in catering and cafes and things. So it was very physical. And then I'd come home and I'd get this new shipment of beads and I legitimately didn't have the energy to create any jewelry. And then I'd be so bummed because I'm like, I just like basically murdered my body and my mental state for somebody who didn't even really notice or care. So that's what this is about, you know, modulation. Um, I feel like you have such goodness and light within you. You're going to let go of any kind of, um, thing that used to unempower you. And now it's just time for you to seize that in a really epic way, group two. I love that for you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to press like and subscribe. Look at this Pegasus. Yeehaw. He's got birds on him. Look at that. Wee, right through the lightning sky. Cherry showed me this thing on her video. She said, Melanie, go check the video when um, it's on monkey. That was her reading and I'm a rooster. And when she was talking about me and her thunder went like crazy in her background, I thought it was the coolest thing ever. It was like really, really eerie. It was super cool. So again, remember you're going to, you'll feel your generosity. You'll feel your inspiration and hang on to that. Make everything the beautiful magic, um, component that it, that is there and and that you're feeling because it's going to magnify and all these success as well so beautiful energy group too if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my links are down below for my etsy store and all my gorgeous things um private readings if you have any information about my stonehenge reading um i added two more spots so you can email me and i'll let you know if those are still available because everything is just going quickly now that the time is closer. Everything is down there, my patron. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. I just can't even tell you how wonderful, you know, I feel every day when I read your comments and the fact that, you know, you guys are seeing a bigger, brighter way and you get it. You get that you're amazing creatures of light and it's always within you to have your best possible moment, life, relationship, all of that. And you're really seizing that. And I'm so excited. So beautiful energy. Now we're on to number three, which is cow. Give with unconditional love and grace. And that's saying just because I give somebody something doesn't mean that's less for me. That means that they also get to share, share in the wealth, all of that, whatever it is, time, whatever it is you have to give very, it's very important. Oftentimes we think in such an old outmoded way, you know, there's always more than enough and I feel that you're naturally generous. And you also have the play card, which I love. Have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. This came up the other day too, and I, I love this card. And this is what I was talking about earlier. Make everything some kind of fun program. Like, okay, you don't like to shower, get those candles, get that music. You're a fairy in a woodland waterfall. And you just imagine that and that magic and all of that. You create all these little plays, these scenarios, whatever. I do that at the supermarket with flowers because I don't love the supermarket, but my kids love it and they touch everything and read everything. They're teenagers. What is this? What is that? So I go where the fresh flowers are and the donuts and I just smell everything. And I just pretend, um, you know, in France at a bakery, I pretend like I'm in a boulangerie and then I get all the flowers, things like that. We create, we create all of that. Have more play. Stop by. If you're driving by that beach and you're like, I should stop and go for a walk, stop that car and go for a walk. I'm always tempted and I'm going to film this and I'm going to do it. No lie. And I'm going to do it tomorrow because I just decided I have a gazillion geese that live all over near the beaches where I live. And I always want to just get out of the car and start chasing them because there's hundreds of them and they they go quack, quack, quack. And they go in every direction. Me and my son used to do this. I haven't done it in years. I'm like, I need to chase the geese. Yes. Somebody will probably call the authorities and I'll be 
locked up as the crazy goose woman, but I don't care. I need to chase a goose. <laughs> I'll be like, I'm just playing duck, duck, goose. And they're like, okay, hello, mental institution party one. <laughs> but I'm dying to do that. You know, have fun, do these things. I feel like that is what you'll be doing right now. So for the beginning of some of the things that will be happening is reliable, clever, educated, and balanced. A lot of you guys are students. A lot of you guys are earning degrees. A lot of you guys are opening your own business. You're going to be super reliable. This is mostly to yourself. You do what you say you're going to do. You're feeling more clever. I feel like, you know, you're being able to streamline your kind of emotional intelligence, your logical intelligence and everything all together for optimal results. You really have focus and tension in what you're doing. So you, your cleverness and your intelligence seems off the hook. But it's because you're applying yourself. You're not worried about what happened yesterday. You're not too concerned with tomorrow, but you do want the best of right now. And that's why everything is magnified. I do my best work when I'm absolutely present. I notice the size, color, schematics of things, the cards, the layouts. I channel better when I'm making jewelry. I notice every little thing. If there's a weak link in the chain, whatever is going on, I can always figure that out. And you're going to feel balanced and you're going to feel smart and you're going to be able to absorb information. If you're, tr if you're seeking higher education right now, if you're taking a course, course or online course, you're going to be able to absorb that like SpongeBob. It's just going in. So it's an excellent opportunity that's going to be offered to you in the, ne in the next three months too. Scholarships or the pursuit of education, time to get to work. If you are after your, um, PhDs, things like that. Your theses are just going to come through crystalline. Um, the work that you need to put in is going to be fun and inspired as opposed to feeling like work. I always just call it studies because anything, it's weird. The word is not, the word work is not so applicable as the word um, finish line or something like that. Work equates work and, and hardship. And I, that's unfortunate. So oftentimes um, I'll just even say, I'm going to go play because that's basically what I do all day. I play with cards. I play with jewels and crystals and things like that. So when we say work, it has a different connotation, which is unfortunate because it's time to get to play really. I mean, isn't, isn't learning a fun playtime. I love learning things. I love learning about artists. I love all of that. Now, look, you guys are really in the pink with all of these. You also have the Knight of Air of Arial, trustworthy, understanding, devoted, and funny. So some of you guys too, I also feel like this definitely is saying, you know, some love is coming in your arena, but right now it's like you have understanding for it. You find the trust in it. You find the valor. You find the authenticity as opposed to being skeptical and doubtful for this. So there's so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan being watched over by someone kind. I feel like a lot of you guys have a mentor, perhaps a professor, a father figure, someone in your family, maybe an aunt or grandmother. A lot of you guys also have a lot of um, family ancest ancestral angels that are watching over you and helping you. So you're going to see these divine guidance numbers, the 444s, especially with this Aquarius new moon coming in. A lot of a lot of really unique things are going to take place where you're just going to feel intuitively guided to go do something and it's going to turn out brilliantly because of that. You know, well, listen, perhaps you should do this, study that, blah, blah, blah. And you'll think, well, where did that come from? Some of this divine guidance is really available to you. And I, this definitely, this, this kind of speaks of love to me as well, that you do have a, a new person coming in that, um, you know, some new relationships and they are very funny, silly, devoted, authentic person that makes you laugh. They don't take themselves too seriously. They don't, um, you know, there's just a, they're giving, they have, they have a lot of in intuition as well. So really follow your heart right now because you're going to have a lot of trustworthy information coming your way. A lot of help. I feel like your dreams are starting to feel fulfilled. Any hard work and focused work you put in is going to lead you to success in a really epic way. I just feel like the path has just been cleared for you now. You can see it, you can feel it. And you know, this all derives from you doing that kind of groundwork of getting rid of that mental clutter, getting rid of physical clutter. Probably a lot of you guys just threw out a bunch of stuff you no longer need or is not necessary in your life. And here you go, you're off and running and you're on that road to success. Again, angel guidance is all around you as well, which is really beautiful. So I love that energy for you, group three. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to press like and subscribe and all my links are down below if you need a private read. I love these cards too. I love all these angel cards. They're so beautiful. And yeah, if you need a private read or if you want to know about my... um any of my stuff, they're all there. There's a little arrow. You just go ding, 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 and everything comes up. Again, you guys, have fun. Don't be so serious. Remember, when you're doing crazy little things, make them into fun little um, 
plays and experiences and have it be whatever you do. You're going to make it beautiful and you're focusing your energy so you're not distracted or rushed. I'll give you an example. Have you ever like been doing something you love? Like um, you just love it, whatever you're doing, but you pick up a device or something else and then you try to pile on top of that and it diminishes the joy you get out of that one thing that you were doing well and focused because now it feels like you're dividing your energy and now it feels like worse work. So feels worse. So one thing at a time, I have to do this. I am, I am like a device junkie. I'm always grabbing my devices to check, make sure everything's, you know, copacetic, but we don't need to do that. If we're watching a comedy, let's just watch that comedy. If we're icing a cake, let's just ice that cake. If we're cutting our flowers, whatever we're doing, playing with our animal, undivided attention and doing it well with focus, love and all of that. So it can be special, right? So love and light to you guys. I'm very excited. I'm going to go upload.